I'm Mr. Rootsart here again, and uh, we're going to look at uh, continuing balancing chemical reactions. And I did a an introduction video, um, just explaining some of the reaction types, and I did balance a couple of them. Uh, now I did promise that I would come back and balance some of the combustion reactions, and I'm going to do a couple more. Uh, I'll just do one balancing uh, or one chemical reaction per video to try to keep it shorter. Uh, so to start off with. Uh, we're going to do a combustion reaction. Now combustion reactions can be, uh, I think they're the more difficult ones to balance, uh, mostly because we have oxygen in two different places in our products. And that tends to be um, a little bit more difficult to balance. But there is a trick that we're going to use, uh, there, that I'm going to show you, that will help you balance these. So the first thing I'm going to do is just uh, write down a spot, leave a spot where I'm going to write my coefficients. And then I'm also going to, I'm not going to do this in every single one, but I'm just going to set up where uh, I'm going to write down each of the elements that are on each of the sides of the chemical reaction. Just a little note, uh, just to keep things uh, so I can see, keep track of uh, the number of elements that are on each side. So to start off with, I have four carbons. 10 hydrogens and I have two oxygens on this side and on this side I have one carbon I have two hydrogens and I have three oxygens on this side and I just like to balance my reactions from left to right I find it the easiest way to work through them so I'm going to start with uh, carbon first okay so carbons over here I have four here so I'm gonna write four over on this side and that's going to balance my carbons now I'm going to go to hydrogen, balance my hydrogens. I have 10 on this side and I have 2 on this side. So in order to have 10 over here, I'm going to write a coefficient of 5. 5 times 2 gives me 10. I'm write 10 here down next to where my hydrogens are. And now my hydrogens are balanced. Now let's take a look at oxygen. I have 2 on this side and on this side I have 4 times 2 which gives me 8 plus 5 gives me a total of 13. Now, in order to balance this, I'd have to write a coefficient here of 6.5, and, and I'm not allowed to do that. Remember that we have to deal with whole, uh, whole numbers. So I'm not allowed to put a decimal or a fraction here. So now, when I get to this, the, there is a trick in doing this. So if I have an odd number of oxygens, what I'm going to do, and this is in a hydrocarbon combustion, I'm going to uh, double all coefficients. Okay, so I'm going to double all the coefficients. So what that means is this had a 1, so I'm going to write a 2 here. Then I'm going to change this one to 8. And then I'm going to change this one to 10. So I've doubled all my coefficients. That's because oxygen had an odd number here. Now let's go back and calculate my numbers again. So now I have 2 times 4 gives me 8 carbons on this side. And I have 8 carbons on this side. So my carbons are balanced. Let's check out hydrogen. I have 2 times 10 gives me a total of 20 hydrogen on this side. And I have 2 times 10 over on this side gives me a total of 20. Now on this side in my oxygen, I still have 2 over here. But on this side now, I don't have, um, I have 16 plus 10 gives me a total of 26. Now this is an even number, so I can break this number in half, which makes me write 13 over here. So now I have 13 times 2 gives me a total of 26. Oxygen is over on this side, which balances it over here. So again, when you get stuck in a hydrocarbon combustion, and you're balancing, it's more than likely going to have to do with the oxygens. So again, when you get stuck, double all your coefficients that you have currently, uh, that you've already worked out, and that will allow you to balance off your oxygen a little bit more, or sorry, a little bit easier. All right, so uh, practice these, work on them, uh, tune into my next video, and I'm going to uh, do some other reactions as well. See you in class. Science.